hope is the quintessential human delusion, simultaneously the source of your greatest strength and your greatest weakness. That's from The Matrix. But it's a really true statement. Uh, hope is not a game plan. So if, you, if you're out there and you, and you think, the reason I say that is because if you're out there and you think this couldn't happen to me or, or that couldn't possibly happen, we have this or we have that, wake the fuck up, bitch. Yeah. Because none of that shit matters. The only thing that matters at the end of the day is uh, the collective will of the people and whether or not it's being expressed. Uh, what's going on with AMC today in particular, if you've been following it, you can see the market going up and down. You also see a very clear spike at around 2.05 p.m. Eastern that mm -hmm. went immediately down at 2.10, which is just enough time to get a couple of trades in. Weird, huh? Yeah. And yeah. the exact same time, literally the exact same time, the same thing happened with GameStop. With GameStop. What went on with GameStop before? This is a coordinated effort by, by tech companies and those in control of the stock market to keep hedge funds rich and the middle class broke, yeah. right? Like somebody came to, to sit at their table and they got upset. That's what happened. Uh, excuse me. What is, what is the end result here is, is what I'm, you know, I, I'm trying to express to people what, what, is, what is going on, right? Well, um, and what, well, what was going on is that we were witnessing a true rebalancing of power in America, right? It was, there, there was a leak in the faucet and somebody fixed it for a minute. And the people that were living in that fucking drip were like, oh, we need that drip back. So we're going to have to fucking fix that thing you fixed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what we have in front of us now, I think there was an opportunity, uh, another opportunity, kind of like the, the George Floyd situation where everybody at the same time seemed to be on the same page. Like this probably shouldn't have happened. Yeah. If when AOC and fucking Donald Trump Jr. are, are posting the same tweets without talking to one another, that's that should be a very clear indicator that whatever they're saying is probably true. When diametrically opposed people share the same beliefs, typically they're true, right? This is an opportunity to look past these petty political differences and realize that there are bad actors who control our government and the markets who are actively working to suppress things that matter most. Our ability to provide for our families and attain upward mobility, whether it's shutdowns or this bullshit, and our ability to share information freely without suppression or interference from government or big tech. Now, today should mark the beginning of the next or new Occupy Wall Street movement. And it should be one where conservatives and liberals alike realize that the system has been rigged against them. I mean, if you can stop, if, if trading is happening with non-pros, with public people, mm -hmm. and it is affecting hedge fund managers, and they can just make a phone call and shut that fucking market down so they don't lose more money, that is a system that is rigged for you to fail and for me to fail. Not only, man, the only way to take this shit back is through action, right? Not Facebook posts, not sharing memes, not bitching to your friends at the bar this weekend. Action is the solution here. And if you can't put aside how you feel about gender or abortion or whatever single issue voter bullshit you're involved in to stand together against this plutocracy, we will lose whatever little democracy we have left. Yeah, I, you know, when I woke up this morning and I saw what was happening, um, I immediately doubled down on AMC just for all the other people who were doing it, right? Uh, there was so many people out there um, who were involved uh, in, in this. And uh, I was like, as soon as everything started to get shut off, I was like, you know what? Fuck you. Um, I'm going to hold the line. I'm going to hold the line on this one. I'm going to hold on to this fucking stock. Um, we'll see what happens because, you know, they're shorting the hedge funds are, have been shorting these stocks. Uh, some of those calls are due tomorrow. Um, I don't, I don't think today's numbers, uh, are, they're definitely nowhere near the fucking end. Um, if anything, shit, it, it might cause all of these, these people on Reddit and all this other shit to continue doing this for a very long time where this might've been a one and done thing, right? Uh, but not anymore. Now, now that everything has been exposed of what it's really like behind the curtains at all these fucking hedge firms and all this other shit, like, dude, this isn't going to stop, man. Uh, this is going to keep going. Um, guys like me are going to fucking hold the line. Guys like Dave Portnoy and those guys, like, dude, uh, put money back into these fucking companies. Fuck these people. Um, eventually, something's going to happen. They're going to have to fucking sell, dude.